This is the honest sauce intro song. I won't take too long because it's spicy, yeah. Oh, so spicy, yeah. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Honest Sauce and Spicy Stuff Reviews. And today we are going to be getting into the High Desert Sauce Black Label series. And, um,. I'm excited about this. This is a limited edition series they put out, and we'll see how this goes. It might be might be one video, it might be two videos, it might be four videos. We shall see. So this is the part of the video where I ask you to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell, as well as maybe going and checking out the Facebook page, okay? And also, if you have any comments, questions, or recommendations, please put those down below, all right? So, uh, Let's go ahead and get into these sauces. So the sauces are Verde. We have a Rojo. There's a Masala. And a Piri Piri sauce. So let's figure out which of these are the hottest. I feel like these are gonna be the hotter and you'll understand why when I get into the ingredients. I'm feeling like these are gonna be pretty similar. So maybe what I'll do is I'll break the videos down into one not hot, one hot. I'm going to switch these. We're going to do the... We'll do the verde with the masala, and then we'll do the rojo with the piri piri. Okay. Oh, okay. So now I see where it's, it's telling us where the rating is. It's right here. The heat rating. Hot. Becoming painful getting hotter and then painful <laughs> so it's the green rojo masala then the piri piri is the heat heat journey that it is um so let's go ahead and let's just i don't know i'm just gonna do them in order now i changed my mind i'm doing them in order so we're gonna start with the rojo and the verde so let's go ahead and check out the verde on the side, it says heat rating hot. The unassuming, normal looking Verde hides its angry side well. We have taken a fan favorite and made it chili head friendly. I love your green. It's just not hot enough is a phrase. Let's start that over. This unassuming, normal looking Verde hides its angry side well. We have taken a fan favorite and made it chili head friendly. I love your green, it's just not hot enough, is a phrase that hopefully will no longer be spoken. We sourced some seriously hot pods from our friends at Hill Country Hot Peppers, and you can smell their presence upon breaking the seal. This sauce is in no way mild, but is the mildest sauce of this set. Tread semi-lightly and enjoy. Alright, let's get into the ingredients. We got pepper blend vinegar tomatillo garlic green onion salt and lime juice and it's labeled 251 out of 400 these are all like a, a limited to batch so they made 400 bottles and i got number 251 251 set 251 out of 400 so and it says here on the side that the pepper blend is fire roasted poblano and jalapeno serrano red and yellow ghost yellow naga naga big tex yellow red and yellow pepper so there's a lot going on in here so and you can see like it's virus it's so let's have a look so if you look i mean there's a lot going on in there looks kind of thick and chunky fire roasted flecks of pepper in there yeah that just looks like super thick um let's go ahead and open it Yeah, it looks pretty thick. He's right, I can smell some of it. Let's pour this bad boy. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of thick and, and chunky. A lot of like pulp, a lot of peppers. See some seeds in there, some flecks of like spices and just some goodness, man. All right, let's do it. Uh, it smells super good. I, I love verde sauces. I don't care if they're like super hot or not. I just love the flavors that they have. Yeah, it smells really good. My mouth is starting to water. 
I like tomatillos, roasted tomatillos. So I'm excited about this. So this is High Desert Sauces Black Label Edition, everybody. Um, Verde. All right. Cheers. <laughs> wow. That is a hot Verde. You definitely can taste like all those hot peppers in there, the super hots and everything. Wow. It's very uh, pulpy. I got some pepper seeds and stuff going on. Uh, roasted flavor is really good. The heat level is like, was, was really kind of like, oh, okay. Pepper seed. Um, yeah, that's surprisingly hot for a verde sauce. But I love it. Um, I love verde sauces because they're kind of like something that you don't normally get with a lot of things when you go out to like Mexican food and stuff. So I'm always down for a green sauce when I go out. And this one is spectacular. I am definitely going to be tacoing this to the end of the world and on every kind of Mexican food I can imagine. This would be fabulous on mac and cheese. Definitely. And if you have just like a uh, plain pizza that maybe just has like a either like a butter garlic sauce or like an olive oil garlic sauce, put some of this on that. That would probably be super good too. But definitely going to be staying in the range of like southwestern and Mexican and South American style foods with this because the flavor of the tomatillos and everything is just that's what it is. So, all right, first one down, super good. Let's keep going. All right, next we got the rojo. And on the side it says, heat rating, getting hotter. Heat seekers really rejoice. What you hold in your hand is the bigger brother to our fire roasted red. Packed with more than double the peppers, the sauce is guaranteed to deliver a one-two punch to your taste buds. Brow sweat and slight panic may ensue, but that will not keep you from coming back for more of this flavor bomb. Tread a little lighter and enjoy. I'm already sweating from the green, so but it's kind of humid out today, but I'm still perspiring, right? Um, let's get into the ingredients. Uh, pretty much the same thing as the last one, except we got instead of the tomatillos, it's tomato, onion, garlic, salt, and peppercorn. So pretty much the same thing. It's got that pepper blend in it, and we all know what's in that. So let's shake this bad boy up. An opener. Well, I almost opened this and poured it and everything, but here we'll have a look now since I hit the record button. I love the color. It's kind of similar to the green, just a different color. You know, the thickness, the the charred pepper flakes and stuff in there. So let's pour this out. Whoa, super thick. Look how thick that is. Look how thick that is. You can see all kinds of stuff in there. All right, let's do this. Whoa, that's like, that's like a punch of like aroma, man. Like, wow, it smells really good. Sweetness. Vinegar, peppers, you have the tomato. I think that I wonder, did they roast the tomatoes? Cause they smell extra sweet. So anyway, so here we go. This is the black label edition of Rojo by High Desert Sauce. Everybody, cheers. Ooh. Mmm, that's like deep. Pepper's coming up in my throat. Back of the tongue. Very deep, like tomatoey, uh, pepperiness going on. Super good. The heat level uh, is hotter. Like it's burning under my tongue, the sides, the back. It's ramping up a little bit. 
So it's definitely hotter than the Verde. I'm at about a two, two, two and a quarter, two and a half, maybe. Uh, the the tongue underneath the tongue is really nice, though. The flavor has kind of, kind of <clears throat> ooh, got a little stuck in my throat. The flavor kind of comes in and punches you, and then the peppers come up like a little like wave over the back and kind of wash everything over. Um, so it, this is like I feel like this is more versatile than the verde sauce. Um, I am perspiring from it, so it's not lying about that. So that's really you know coming through on a promise. And it's still hot. It hasn't like it hasn't gone down at all, really. Um, but like I was saying, this is more versatile and would go on a lot more different types of cuisines. Like I would definitely be thinking about putting this on pizza and maybe like even like pasta, adding it to pasta sauce or to a barbecue sauce, something you want something tomato based in. This would go great with that. I would even add this to like some tomato soup to make the tomato soup like really nice and spicy. Yeah, it's like really getting me under the tongue and the sides. My lip is starting to burn up here a little bit. I like it. I like it a lot. I haven't really tried their regular Rojo and Verde, but now I think I might have to try them. If you've tried any of their regular Rojo or Verde sauce, let me know what you thought of it down below. Just waiting to see how long this burn lasts. It's a good burn. It's lasting a good amount of time. So I'm expecting the next two to be even hotter. Which will be in the next video. Woo! God, I hope I hit record. So it, it, the heat lasted a pretty good amount of time. You know, it's not. This is not. Um, if you're if you're not very comfortable with heat, you might want to think about just trying this a little here and there. I wouldn't want to put it like on an entire thing either because it's up there in heat for like an average person. It's hotter than the Tabasco habanero for sure. So if you if, if that's too hot for you, I would avoid this one until you can handle the heat a little bit better. Which you can. You can build up tolerance. I've been doing it. So so the first two sauces, really good. If you guys have tried these, please let me know what you think of them down in the comment section below. And I think it's that time of the video where I keep telling you, first, make sure you catch part two coming up. And keep loving yourself and pushing that out to everybody around you. All right? We kind of need it. All right, everybody? So until the next video or the next time, take care of yourselves. Peace. This is the honest sauce intro song. I won't take too long because it's spicy, yeah. Oh, so spicy, yeah. Yeah, so I got this during the, the time when the high desert sauce was going to oh, stop. Mm.